Alan Smith, Scottish National Party MEP, a large group, a large delegation over from Scottish universities. How important is it that they've come over to Brussels? It's absolutely fantastic to see so many world-class scientists coming over to Brussels to engage with the policy process because right now we're re negotiating how we're going to support science and innovation into the, the, the years to come and there are EU budgets behind this. So one of the positive things about the budget negotiations just now is that while domestic funding is being cut, we are seeing an increase in the EU budgets for research and innovation. So this is positive news. I want to see as many Scots scientists over here as possible because we should be all over this. We've got world-class science going on in Scotland and there's world-class research funding available in Brussels. And there's a lot of talk about the so-called Horizon 2020 budget. Just explain very briefly what that is, how that fits into the, the research and uh, innovation you've just been talking about. Sure. Well, Horizon 2020 builds on the Seven Framework Programme, which was how we funded research in the previous mandates. And what we're going to see is that where FP7 was about uh, people in white coats, Horizon 2020 is going to be about people working in the lab, but with people from business, people from the more innovative sectors, and much closer to the market. And it's going to be specifically about challenges like climate change, active ageing, food production. We've got a glowing, growing world population. Climate change is continuing to make agriculture tricky in a number of areas, not least our own over the past wee while. So science is going to provide the answers to those challenges. So we're putting EU money behind those challenges. So there's a huge opportunity for Scottish business, economy and our researchers. Given everything you're saying, how important is it for scientists to come over from Scotland and understand the process involved in uh, getting a share of that cake? Absolutely crucial. Uh, there, there is just no substitute for coming over to Brussels and actually seeing how accessible much of Brussels actually is. It, it, the, there is a great big sausage factory here, but it's as understandable as any other bit of government that affects us. So people coming over with the world-class expertise and enthusiasm that we have, there's an open door across the length and breadth of the apparatus in Brussels, and I've been, just been delighted to help facilitate the trip today to get the Scottish scientists' ideas and enthusiasm right in front of the Commission decision makers. You seem very upbeat about uh, the prospects for Horizon 2020. Would you expect, after visits like this, to see more funding going to Scottish universities from the EU? Well, that's the idea. Uh, we've done very well out of uh, the Seven Framework Programme, and I think we've got more opportunities in Horizon 2020 to have applied research. And much of what we're doing in terms of crop science, animal health science, uh, tuberculosis resistant strains of animals, all, all of that sort of stuff is much more applied than pure research. So it's precisely what the Commission is looking to see. It's precisely what the developing world needs to get in terms of expertise. So we've got what the Commission wants in spades. My job is to join, a dot, join the dots and put a ribbon around what's already there.